Guys, today we are talking about grinding our drone. I used to skateboard, I think you used to do... Rollbait. Yeah, aggressive. Been, been around the aggressive line, scene yeah. for years. Grinding is like a whole genre of tricks, and freestyle mini quads really scratched the itch for skateboarding, but I always kind of wanted to grind. When right? I first started flying, it mm -hmm. was like the like three years ago, I first started flying, and I wanted to grind. But the thing is, it, it just, the flight controller wouldn't allow you to do it. It's designed to have that outside force and, and bump you away from it. Grinding with these things is really not easy. To be honest, we're still figuring out exactly how to do it. It usually takes me many, many tries. I haven't really gotten to that consistent point. Lots of tries. So we want to talk you through this, see if you guys can get trying it yourself. So that I think the things that you need to consider when grinding is what's the physical structure of the drone? Like where can you actually lock it in? The software. What do you want to do with the software, with your tune to maybe allow you to do it? And then three, what's the actual technique? Yeah. So first off, structure we've actually got two good examples here because you've got a bottom mount battery yeah, so, so what i done? have a bottom mount battery okay hey like a grind plate it's like a grind you have plate it's your, a grind plate to, like you would have on to, the, um, to lock me in the rollerblades to rollerblades yeah. yeah and it doesn't matter even skateboarders and and bmxers they have pegs mm -hmm. uh and skateboarders have lips or trucks to to lock themselves in but let's see what what well, you so have. yeah i have a top mount battery and with my frame in particular this uh horizontal standoff down here that I was thinking would be something I could like maybe lock it on between the carbon fiber and balance it like a nose grind. Sometimes I can get it for a little bit more often. I end up kind of pinching somewhat like the arm is getting involved, in getting some sort of sweet spot where it's you know kind of crooked between the that standoff and the arm. And once you lock in though, whether you've got Absolutely. a grind plate or once you lock in and a you natural feel that pinch you know point, it. yeah, it's weird. You and, just oh, you and it feels good. And then what do I need to do to make sure that this thing doesn't freak out while I'm on the rail? Right. And the so thing that do? I thought, what do you do with software tuning? That's what I that's what I did. So I put my air mode on a switch. Same. And then I also thought to lower my idle a little bit. It's good, but it's also hard. Once you lower your idle, you are going to get wobbles on the rail. So there's almost that sweet spot of it balancing on its own. Mm -hmm. And the only way you're gonna kind of find that sweet spot is is going out and doing it and playing with your throttle, coming right off your throttle and pitching forward and seeing if it does a little float or you know if it stays in a straight line. Right, so by turning off air mode, you decrease how effective the PIDs are at lower throttle. Those outside forces that um, you know, air mode's right. uh, designed to do. So, so when you get on the rail and you drop your throttle a little bit, the flight controller is going to be less reactive to the contact of the rail, yeah. and then lowering your idle also helps with that. So I do the exact same two things. That's something I've been doing for a while because I've been doing skidding. I've, I'm only recently getting into the grinding, right, but right, I've been right. really into the skids. And so you're getting that muscle thing. memory, the mechanics of yeah, all the Yeah, flip the, the switch, thing. get yeah, in there, the switch, pull it off. Yeah. yeah, so with the technique, now this is where it gets fun because show them how, how big that space is, that you, the target on your... This? Oh, yeah. it's like teeny. So it's I mean, teeny tiny. It's, it's and then the, the rail, the, the rail is only about a two, two inches wide. Oh, yeah. So now we're getting to the point where I, I have to lower my camera tilt. I can't do this at 60 degrees. I've noticed that with the technique, because my tilt is lower, it it's, it's pretty hard to slowly get onto something. I always have a better time if I have a little bit of forward momentum to get myself on. You really have to be very precise and hit that center line. Mm -hmm. If you don't hit that center line and get it perfect, you're bouncing off and also with your throttle management, you're bouncing off the rail. You have to lower the throttle. So yeah. you have to Gently set it on there, then lower the throttle. You can't dump off the throttle. You can't dump off the you throttle. To, you you got to feather it on. you have to be quick, on. too. Yes. There's a sweet spot, again, in the throttle that you kind of have to hit. For me, I feel like it's somewhere around 10, 15% you, you, stick travel. You know up, what I also you know? noticed, too, with setup, is props that have a higher pitch or that don't have a low torque 
um, because when that pid loop does kick in and it bumps you off, it wants to bump you off the rail, mm -hmm. um, that thrust isn't there in the prop. Also, uh, with another technique, I find is when I get onto the rail, I like to pitch forward a little bit. Yeah, because, yeah, I do the exact because same then thing, your so speed, get on there, yeah, chop throttle a little chop bit, throttle, and then just you pull have to it. feather the throttle. Okay, don't go out and get and discouraged because for myself, it took me three days around to, uh -huh. to tweak this, figure everything out. Um, the first day I was able to grind, but it wasn't until like the third day when I started to get a little bit more consistent. You sit there and you'll fly three or four packs without doing a single grind. So you have to be very persistent, uh, just like when you see skateboarders doing tricks over and over and over again to try to get that one trick. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of the same. So, I think this is something we're gonna get more consistent. Absolutely. At. And that's absolutely. seriously why we want to make this video. So share some tips, see what you guys can come up with. Give us Start some feedback. Grinding. Start, Start grinding. Start grinding. <laughs>